guys. Carl from Studio in Car. It's Tuesday morning. I'm going to show you through the C63 AMG um, real subtle installation. Massive sound upgrade. Sounds fantastic. Uh, it's about 300 degrees already this morning, so um, I'm trying to get this this done nice and early before it, it just, just gets ugly when it when it gets hot. Um, so the well, breakdown of this build or the dis or the discussions of this build was to be um, you know no modifications to the car, which is fine. Everything we've taken out is complete. We've not had to modify anything. Um, and uh, and the, the complete parts are returned to the customer for reinstallation when when that uh, changes. So um, yeah, and then and then subtle. We didn't want anything on display. Um, what is to be seen is to be functional, um, and that's about it. We've got a a, a Dyn Audio Easter Tech front end, uh, our standard sort of mid to high level front end, uh, two way active from an Audison 5.1K and a bit one HD, an amazing team. Um, a Miele 10, so a Miele Legend 10, which is, I think, pound for pound, one of the best 10 subs there is around. They, they've, they've really nailed it with that. It's not a, a cheap sub, 699, but it's, um, but it's a serious piece of kit. So when you're playing things like like double, like we're playing now, for for the ten that it is in a slightly oversized box, it, it likes an oversized box. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. So anyway, it it hits hits big. So you know all of those are all a big juicy bottom here. So. All right, let's have a little. Every time I'm back, I was actually the client to let me know that he's on his way. We're going to collect him uh, 40 minutes. So yeah, he's, um, I bet he's excited really because it's a pretty sweet upgrade. Is that? I'm going to show you around the car. All right. Um, there's, you know, there isn't an awful lot to see because of the the way that we've designed the system. There's not really anything on display. You'll see, um, you know, in the back end, we've made it, you know, functional, and uh, so we can get in there for control. It's also cool in and stuff like that. So the front end, you can't really see anything other than the uh, DRC mount. So when that, um, when the ashtray cover or, or the, the that little compartment cover is back over, you won't know. You never know it was there. Uh, that's for you know the DRC can control sub settings, things like that. You know, um, and then we've got the boot. As you can see, it looks really sort of OE. Not an awful lot going on in here at all. Um, that little lip there and, and the outer edge is probably the only hint to it being any different than a normal uh, C63. Lift this up. And under there is the installation. And then this panel is all chamfered, vented. It's got a stainless steel vent on the top so that it doesn't lose its shape. Uh, and then Stewie's opened out the holes uh, to allow sort of maximum airflow, both from the subwoofer and to cool the amplifier. You know, the, the amplifier being the, the 5.1K has um, the first set of channels, uh, channels, channels A, um, are class A, so the amp runs quite warm, um, 
B, ch channels B are class A, B, uh, and channel C is uh, class D for the sub. So, you know, we can deal with uh, slightly higher distortion from the class D section uh, in the sub bass. So yeah, that's the C63 AMG. There's not a huge amount to see, just a lot to listen to. Now, now if you can see the car behind me, the 2020 Flying Spur, if you can guess whose that is, we'll give you a treat. We'll, uh, we'll get you to email us and we'll send something across, but answers in the comments, let us know who you think owns the Flying Spur. All right? Cheers, guys. This is very hot studio in car. I've been Carl. This has been the C63 AMG. And we're gonna go and try and cool down somewhere. Um, likes, subscribes, shares are quite good. But yeah, thanks. <laughs>